This is why abortion is still legal, the poison of feminism. Now, the shift towards the modern Western abortion movement really became self-aware during the sexual revolution of the 1960s. It was a revolution that was focused on changing a nation, not by politics, but instead through changing the culture. Now, there was a warring against traditional family values during this time and a redefinition of what harmonious sexuality really was. Christian sexual ethics were painted as a barrier to freedom and human autonomy. Sex was viewed as primarily a recreational activity rather than a procreational activity. And so you had women abandoning their maternal callings as mothers in their primary place in the home with their families. And this has had a long lasting effect on women today. So where does abortion come into all this? Well, abortion and the use of chemical birth control contraceptives encouraged this abandonment of marriage and healthy family. Widespread fornication turned women into objects, specifically sexual objects that could be abused at the hands of men and then destroyed discarded by those same men as disposable pleasures. So far from having a liberating effect in the lives of women, feminism has actually degraded women and robbed them of their God-given beauty. It's taken them out of their homes, which according to Titus 2 in the scriptures, is their primary mission field and occupation, something that modern day feminism and even egalitarian circles within the Christian church rebel against. And it's led women to believe that it's better to play the man. And so they compete with men under this false notion of equality. It's important that we understand that abortion is the fruit of feminism's root. Abortion has simply given sinful men the ability to shirk their callings as men and use women for sex and all the benefits of marriage without having to take up any of the responsibilities associated with marriage. Does this mean that women aren't responsible for killing their children by abortion? No, they are. But feminism's goal has been to destroy God's family design and the leadership of men in homes, churches, and governments. And women have bought into its lies and promises of fulfillment, but it only makes women miserable. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The Bible says something about that. It says that the fool laughs. The gospel is the answer to this. Jesus teaches women their dignity, shows them their beauty, and frees them from the curse of Eve and places them in service to their king. Feminism enslaves and dehumanizes, but Jesus Christ and his gospel liberates and highlights the glory that is woman, making them more human in the process.